Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other We're cool for the summer What's up guys? Um, this one I kind of just wanted to be a laid back video because um, Fuck it, I can And um, I've already cracked a couple of these bad boys open these fortune cookies and um, I kind of just wanted to do a video non-political um, for the sake of just getting away from it for a bit because I think sometimes you guys get annoyed with just me ranting and raving and about political nonsense and stuff that some of you might even not even be concerned about and uh so, yeah, I kind of just wanted to do one where I'm reading fortunes, so, yeah, it's going to be one of those sort of videos. Oh, probably should have popped a Tums or something before I did this. Anyway, um, you have an ambitious nature and will make a name for yourself. Okay. Um, I don't know what that would mean for my personal life. Hopefully good things. Hopefully good things all around, really. Ambitious nature will make a name for yourself. Well, this is, this is YouTube. This is where ba people make names for themselves. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, numbers being 2, 3, 7, 16, 23, and 40. I don't know what that's supposed to be about. But I might go play a lottery later. I don't know. Um, you will enjoy doing something different this coming weekend. I, when I first cracked these open, I think this came true in my personal life because I ended up, uh, I think I ended up going to the beach with my friends, which you will find surprising for someone who's from California. But I don't go to the beach that often, so I mean once maybe twice a, a you know a year during the summer I'll probably go to the beach but I don't really get to feel the sand between my toes that often it's a great exfoliant though uh, my feet were so fucking soft when I got when I got home I was sunburned as all hell but still um, yeah you'll enjoy doing something different this coming weekend um, probably since I'm getting ready for school, so, yeah. What that probably means for here, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 2, 16, 19, 26, 30, and 29. I've noticed that, uh, that 2 seems to come up a lot on, uh, these two right here. wonder what these next couple will bring. Um... Maybe I should play the lottery. Apparently, two seems to be my lucky number for some reason. Um, that one slid right out. Um, shut up. <laughs> you should enhance your feminine side at this time. I'm not sure how I should respond to that one. You should enhance your feminine side at this time. I might have to talk to my female friends about that. I, I, most of my fem my friends are female. I don't. I think that has a lot to do with the fact I just don't don't trust a lot of guys. Um, I've talked to you guys before about you know my dad and stuff like that. There's a lot of reasons, but you know, behind that, you know, I think you know I just find myself more. You know, well, obviously I'm attracted to women. But I find myself more drawn to the women for not only the attraction, but I find them drawn to them because they're, you know, I, I have a lot in common, I think, with women, when it, at least, you know, on a, you know, on a personal nature and stuff like that, you know, disappointments and sorts of things, you know. Um, that's why it's easier for me to give advice about women, give advice to women, you know, and stuff like that, than it is for me to give advice about men and to men, because 
you know, I find it's really kind of hard because a lot of guys will, I will have, you know, I've come in contact with, will often try to say that, you know, I'm, you know, that I'm not as manly or not as macho as I'm supposed to be and stuff like that. And it's just, okay, I didn't, it, that really sounds pretty, you know, pretty sexist in its own way, but okay. Um, you should enhance your feminine side at this time. Huh? Um, I really am stumped on that one. I get maybe it's that if I enhance my feminine side, maybe you know, maybe some sort of maybe it'll be good for relationships. I don't know. Um, four, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, and thirty-one. Um, once again, we have a nineteen popping up, and I think uh, no, never mind. Um, we do have a sixteen that came up. So, yeah, I'm just partially the reason why I look at numbers is just so, you know, I go buy a lottery ticket or something like that. I might punch a couple of numbers in there or something. Um, whatever. Um, don't try to get away from me now. Your dream will come true when you least expect it. Oh, thank God. Does that mean revolution will be coming soon? <laughs> no. Uh, I have a lot of dreams. Political, personal. Trying to see which one will come true is, I guess, up to that to be decided. So that one's easy enough. 3, 6, 7, 15, 34, and 46. I think 3 and 6 have popped up earlier. I think six has actually popped up a couple of times. Alright, last fortune. What does Confucius have what is Confucius's last words to me? Uh it's upside down. Take some needed time to relax in the next few days. Don't have to tell me twice. Ow. I think I'll start right now. <laughs> uh, take some time to relax in the next few days. Well, well, we'll see what happens. I don't. I've got a lot going on over the next couple of days, so that might be easier said than done. Uh, one, five, eighteen, twenty, twenty-six, and thirty. Huh? Okie dokie. Well. I'm all out of fortunes. This would make a good weed bag. <laughs> anyway, um, now I got cookie crumbs all over me. Need some milk. Anyway, but yeah, that was just a little fun activity to do while you know, do just for the sake of things, guys. Um, yeah, because every once in a while I like to do something. That's not political, that's not, you know, some ranting, raving spiel that I've got going. And because I think every once in a while you guys deserve to see something from me that I'm not, you know, being, you know, Mr. Revolutionary about, that I'm not being, you know, you know, the political person that I am, and just... Have, and actually be a person every once in a while than a, you know, than a politically, you know, minded person. I mean, I am pretty politically minded, but, you know, every once in a while you need to kind of get down off your high horse and away from your addictions and stuff like that and focus on, you know, having a little fun once in a while. So, um... I mean, hell, even Scottish Socialist does it, and, uh, so, and, I mean, hell, Scottish Socialist has a gaming channel, so even, so Scottish Socialist knows how to relax. Um, people like Jason Unruh and even myself, um, 
we don't really do videos like that. Jason, I've never seen does have done a video like this. I love you, Jason, but dude, come on, do a video just to relax for once. <laughs> no. And just for, and for me, I don't do this very often. I mean, I think the last time I did anything like this was like almost a year ago, I think. And so, yeah, there, I, I don't really do much of these. But a little fun thing for y'all for y'all to do. So, yeah, if you guys got some fortune cookies, you know, you know, re, or if you have even a memorable fortune you got, uh, put it in the comment section, reply to this video, whatever. Just, you know, have fun, you know. And, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm Norkel Nick, and I will see you guys later with something or other. Peace! That was just a whole fun activity. <laughs> okay.